Well, plenty still to come in tonight's programme. Do please stay tuned. Muscular, non-smoking Andrew Pate has the sports news and Jolly Gemma here with the very latest on the weather. Plus, tragic consequences. The damage which alcohol can cause to unborn babies. We have a special report. And join me in Brighton, where for one day only, Promets are making a comeback. They were the glamour girls of the 50s and 60s patrolling the promenade. Karen's reenacting the role for the day, but later I'll be meeting one of the originals. Well, they were the glamour girls of the 50s and 60s, and today they made a comeback a bit before your time, of course. Of course. Well, in their heyday, the Promets used to patrol the promenade in Brighton, offering help and advice to the tourists. And to mark the relocation of the city's visitors' centre, a Promet was on hand to make sure all went well. What's more, Carl Edwards has been to meet one of the original Promets. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, oh. How lovely to meet you. And you. Lovely oh, to meet you. And you're in my uniform. Oh, oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Today was like going back in time for Hazel Legg, a grandmother from Southwick in Sussex. Here she meets Karen, who spent the day acting as a promet to launch Brighton's new tourist information centre. Hazel used to be a promet back in 1956. There she is on the far right. But what exactly was her job? For those men among you who like girls with brains, there's no place like Brighton for a holiday. For here, apart from the sweet young things on holiday, you can meet six who are literally walking mines of information, with sex appeal added. Call, in case you haven't recognised their uniforms, the Promets. It was very interesting. It was fun. Um, and it was, it was just a way of getting to know people and meeting various types of people. It was very good. I loved it. One of their main duties was to give top tips to travellers or even Meridian reporters with no sense of direction. Excuse me, could you tell me where the new visitor information centre is, please? Yes, it's over there. Just next to the Royal Pavilion shop. Brilliant, thank you very much. You're bye welcome. Bye-bye. The most apparently simple rule, you will be accurate, helpful, smiling and courteous at all times, is often the most difficult when the girls oppose questions like where's the sea gone or what colour are your eyes, miss? And after a day in the sun, a casual stroll seems like a route march, so that wearing a smile, despite your aching corns, is like laughing at corny jokes like this. An effort. And you even used to light cigarettes for people and things like I that, No, I know. We were given lighters, actually, to light people's cigarettes for them. Well, now that would be um, <laughs> really forbidden, wouldn't it? Times may have changed, but many would welcome the return of these elegant ladies. Then Hazel could come out of retirement. She certainly hasn't lost the skills and style she had as one of the princesses of the promenade. Carl Edwards in Brighton for Meridian Tonight. Isn't what colour are your lovely. eyes, miss? <laughs> that was my voice on the original film, you know. Well, with those clipped tones. Rather. Yes, I used to speak like that then. Absolutely yes. spitting. Let's see whether Gemma Humphreys has got clipped tones this evening, whether she's promising... Let's see the, what the weather will be. By the Royal Pavilion.